Since pioneer radio station WMBI went on the air, there have been others to pick up the banner and the vision of broadcasting the gospel message in more recent years. In the late 50s, evangelist Percy Crawford saw the potential of utilization of the FM radio frequencies and, as a result, established a number of full-time commercial Christian FM radio stations, which included WYCA in Hammond, Indiana. At the time, back in the 50s, the uh, major radio and TV stations were tightening up in their approach to religious broadcasting and just felt that uh, religious programming was not the kind of programming to get the ratings they needed or wanted and decided to put a stop, for the most part, to the sale of religious programming. As a result, Percy Crawford decided, uh, with the leading of the Lord, of course, to form his own radio network across the country. Currently, there are six stations in the Crawford Broadcasting Company. YCA was the second, and we take our call letters from the Young People's Church of the Year, which was his program name. We cover uh, portions of four states and have a potential audience of 10 million people. We are a commercial station. We uh, financially stay afloat by the sale of commercial and program time. Uh, we do not go after uh, donations or any kind of financial response for the station proper from our listening audience. The station was established to be solely a commercial Christian radio station. We at YCA are attempting to reach the broad spectrum of the Christian community. If we were to specialize in either one of those two extremes, no doubt we'd reach only the segment of audience that appealed to that particular kind of music. WYCA is found at 92.3 on the FM band. Now another full-time Christian broadcaster is serving the far west and northwest Chicago suburban areas. The station is WCRM and is also on the FM radio dial at 104. Love is free for me. WCRM signed on the air with a Christian format in, Ju in June of 1980 uh, as the first Illinois station owned by CLW Communications of Chattanooga, Tennessee, which is the broadcast ministry arm of AMG International, uh, AMG International, which has uh, uh, missionary and relief operations in about 60 countries throughout the world. And uh, our primary purpose, other than uh, being a Christian broadcasting station, is uh, to generate revenue to help support the missionary efforts of AMG International. So we are a for-profit st radio station whose uh, function in the overall corporate scheme of things is to generate revenues to fund missionary efforts across the world. Well, our target audience actually is uh, adults between the ages of 18 and 49 overall. There tends to be a concentration, however, between the mid-20s and the late 40s, I'd say 25 and 49. Well, radio in the way that we present it uh, I think uh, offers a uh, Samaria type uh, fulfillment to the Great Commission. At the 104 WZRM Tanti, I'm Jim Chanel, and on a Monday afternoon, his brother Don Thomas. I talk about the keeper of my love, the Lord Jesus Christ, at FM 104 WCRM. Finally, the newest full-time Christian broadcaster to come into the Chicago area is WEAW, located at 1330 on the AM dial. WEAW serves the northern sections of our area from its studios and transmitter located in suburban Northbrook. Well, WEAW has a quite a history, a heritage to the station. It was started about 20 years ago, uh, but Forest Communications bought the station last year, and uh, we put new equipment, new towers, new transmitter, and all up, and went on the air February the 12th of this year as the WEAW. It had been WPRZ for some short interim time, but we went back to the original call letters of WEAW. We feel like that it's our obligation to go out to people who are not a part of a local church, who aren't already a, a believer, and those who may be a believer but are not actively involved in their church, and 
to bring them in, to become a part of it, and to share with them the gift of God's love for their life and to know Christ as their Savior. For TV 38, I'm Dave Oslin.